You ever get the little hints from your from your significant other? My wife's Latin. There's no subtle. It's you're getting fat. It's okay, that's how that works. I get this one. I get this one every once in a while. You know, I could we could cook like healthy meals. Wow. In other words, fat, 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 fat. Welcome back to Under Oath. Insecurities. Ooh. Now, what troubles men most? I went online to take a look at some of them. Okay, so we're going to do a top five. The biggest thing, believe it or not, that men are most insecure about is their relationships. Whew, I thought that was going to go a different way, but go, okay. Yeah. Go on. What do, you, yeah. what do you mean by relationships? I think the problem is this. I don't think we know what we want to be. What do you mean? Okay. Are we pleasers or are we selfish? Okay. I mean, I remember the days... We were supposed to be selfish because that was kind of a manly trait. And now oh. I, I now I think I'm a combination between Dr. <laughs> Phil and Mary Ellen. Mary, is it Mary Ellen? Ma who is From you? Gilligan's Island? <laughs> Mary Ann? Mary Ann, yes. <laughs> yeah, Mary Ann. I, I, I'm okay. confused because I you want to be, well, you know, I want to be there for you. And then the half time I'm going, but I, I got to bake them. I don't know what to do. So you think, okay. I but make you've been married a long time. Okay, I want to make sure I got this understand. Okay. We're, we're, we're talking about top things that make men insecure. It's okay, yes. And you say relationships. I don't think we know what we want to be. I, I would, I'm going to disagree with you. I think we know exactly what we want to be, but we live in a day and age right now where it's dictated to you what you're supposed to be. Yes. That's the insecurity. Okay. No, no, that's not insecurity. You can either choose to say, nah, I don't want to do that. So I, I okay, you you got insecurity for yours, right? I don't think it's that in relationships. I'm not quite sure who I need to be. I was married for 25 years. I don't know who I'm supposed to be. Well, you well, you know who she wanted you to be, but then you went against that. That's why you got divorced, sir. I, I don't know if it's an issue of wanting to be. I think you just don't know. You're going, I think I should be this person. And then you're fighting over something. And then next time you're fighting, and even though I'm in a new relationship, I'm fighting over things I don't understand. Well, there, yeah, there you go. You you just spoke like half the husbands in America. I don't understand. So what do we do? It's like a cat video. We just lay there and wait to get whacked like the dogs do? No, you got to communicate when it comes to this kind of stuff, man. This is a thing that men don't do. Let me explain to you. If you have okay. an insecurity about something that's going on in your relationship, especially with your woman, go talk to her. Tell her what's making you insecure about that particular thing that's going on. The problem is we don't... We don't talk to the person. I say I'm being bothered about something, and then I have to make you feel better about it. No, that's not how it's supposed to work. But it does. That's not communication, sir. See, you're, you're, that's, no. But are you, are you talking about perfect? You have perfection. No, I don't. No, I, I think don't. You do. There's I no think you such do. thing in relationships. How long have you been married? I've been married for 31 years. Okay, 31 years. Yes. And you actually go, let me tell you what's bothering yes. me. And it works out. Yes. No. That's the challenge and the problem right there. You are already predicting it's going to be work. And yes, it is going to be work, but that's how you get proper communication. What you don't want is pushback when you say how I feel. But yes, they're going to have a different opinion. They're going to have an opinion of their own. You're going to have to compromise. Listen, you're going to have to care what that other person thinks. You can't be dismissive. You can't be angry. And you can't say things to hurt one another. That's real communication. Is it hard? You bet your ass it is. But that's what's supposed to happen. Number uh, two if you will, when it comes to men and what they're insecure about, money and how it relates to how much we make compared to the people we work with. When I got laid off from my job not too long ago, the thing that worried me the most is how my woman would look at me when I wasn't a breadwinner anymore. Money, I think, really tells a man who he is or who he isn't in this world. That's tough. Yeah. I mean, when you think about the money, mm -hmm. I, I think about the money in different ways. Um, I well, you got too much of it. No. No, <laughs> no I... <laughs> Until you don't. Until you don't. Yeah, there you go, you man. Know, that's, yeah. You know, I always listen to people talk about money, and it's always the same conversation. Mm -hmm. um, the more I make, the more I spend, the more I indebt myself to. Uh, the therapy you put yourself through to mm -hmm. try to not only keep up with the Joneses, but to keep yourself amused on an ugly level. Yeah. Uh, I told a guy one time when he was talking about, ah, things are tough for me. I said, dude, you, your favorite restaurant isn't in the state of Florida. Wow. I said, you actually have to travel to eat well now because you're so spoiled. Yeah. And I, I think that happens. I think, I think in relationships, as you get older, one of the big things I think people don't focus on 
is, well, we, will I be able to take care of you when I'm not working anymore? Yeah. And that's the scary thing. It, it, it truly is. It you truly know? is. When, 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 when my boss gave me that news, I dreaded the phone call of having to call my wife and tell her, hey, you know this job that I've had for 10 years and I've made a certain amount of money? Well, I don't have that anymore. Ta-da. Like <laughs> the, the fact that I had to look that woman in the eye and tell her that um, was scary. Number three. Yeah. Body appearance. <laughs> uh, and that could apply to the body, uh, the hair, the lack of lack of. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't like hearing oh the bald man, bald jokes, bald jokes, bald jokes. Yeah. You hear them all the time. Yes, and then it makes us all insecure. I don't like it. So you, have, your hair is you're, you're losing your hair is what you're saying. I think everyone's losing their hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you're losing your hair without actually telling me well, you're losing your hair. You know, and it's and it's moving other places. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, sir, sir, you're right about that. I'm gonna give you that. As, as but here, it's in my wedding vows. Like when you said to to have and to hold, hold meant that no matter how big I get, you're gonna be happy with this body because it ain't gonna get better. Well, I don't than know this. if they're happy with it. I think they ignore it. <laughs> to, to have and to hold. You ever get the little hints from your from your significant other? My wife's Latin. There's no subtle. It's you're getting fat. It's okay, that's how that works. I get this one. I get this one every once in a while. You know, I could we could cook like healthy meals. Wow. In other words, fat, 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 or, fat, fat. Oh, I get that when you go to the restaurant. That. Oh, you don't have to order actual meat. You can eat a salad. Yeah. You, you know, uh you, there's better dressing. No, it's not. Yeah. I, there's nothing better oh, than ranch. Oh, there's only <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing. What's better than ranch? Wow. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. It, it, Especially a, with a blooming onion. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh deep fried. Ooh. Oh, 3000 calories of happiness. It, that's what that is. Yes. You know what? When I die, I want to be buried with a blooming onion. That's it. Yeah. Like this, like the Shoney's big boy, but with a, yeah. <laughs> in fact, right. Just big, saying. In fact, right. Big boy on my. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That, that's that's it. That's the that's the size casket I'm gonna have is the big boy. Okay. All right. All right. Number four. This encompasses a lot, man. But one thing that I'm insecure about, especially with my job, retirement. I'm a the hell of, are you talking about retirement? Listen, well, hear, hear me out. You and I have a very busy schedule. We do a lot of different jobs, like Retire five or six. What? Okay, listen, <laughs> five or six jobs. I don't know what to do if I don't have a million things to do. Like if I stopped working, right, and money's not a, 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 like a problem or anything, boredom. What do you do when you retire that's not going to make me absolutely crazy? Hey, relax, Scrooge McDuck. You ain't got it. <laughs> okay, you can <laughs> retirement. Pretend I'm not in debt. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Did Michelle win the lottery <laughs> and you didn't tell me? Yes, she got me. Oh, okay. Ta-da! <laughs> you get the prize. Aren't aren't you? Concerned. Look, look, think yes. about it. Aren't you concerned about retirement? Yes. But I'm insecure about that. I got an autistic kid. I ain't retiring. You, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. My kids got bills. I, I got a perfect retirement plan. I just thought of it. What? All four of my kids went to college on scholarship. They're brilliant. That's my 401k. <laughs> my four yeah, but you children. gotta eat. <laughs> yes. See, that's that's the thing. I retirement. Retirement, man. Remember think people about used it. to have that? They Remember jobs used to give you Pensions. retirement? Pen Remember that? What's a pension? Not anymore. I got a pension for being broke. That's, I don't like it. Bam, there you go. I don't like this issue. And here's the thing. Uh -huh. I'm tired of people saying, oh, well, you're rich. <laughs> you are rich. No. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Mm-hmm. Expressing our emotions. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Now, now here, here's the thing. That's different than communication. I got no I got no problem expressing my emotions. It's oh. expressing the right ones I got a problem with. Okay, there you go. Because I get in trouble all the time. Not you. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a, I call it fat baby. Ugly baby, fat baby. I, I can't okay. hide the face. See, that's your when problem. When you do something, when you do something that's lunacy, yes. I just I just kind of it's on my face. What well, well, why? What well, would well, you have a problem with that? Mm. And I'm going, "No, no, no. Yeah, you were thinking of something. Mm. You were thinking of something." I know better, okay? There's some things you cannot say to women. First off, you can never tell them to calm down. Ooh, I never did. No, no, well, my I wife is talking. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying this like I'm an expert. My wife has told me this. Can't tell a woman she's overreacting. 
No, you, no, 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 don't take it saying, from me. I'm not saying you do can't. Not tell you a shouldn't. Woman she is overreacting. That will not go well for you. I'm trying to help you men out there, okay? All right. You need to learn to, to just relax, think before you speak. <laughs> or breathe. Or breathe, yes. Or make a face. Yes, because you can breathe too loud. Or make a face. I found. Don't make, make a face because. You, she'll be like, I know exactly what that face means, and that's rude of you. There's this, there's this reel with this. They, they use this kid for everything when they're saying that the that the girlfriend is not listening to what you're saying. It's mm -hmm. this little kid, and the eyes are rolling in the back of their head. That's me. Yeah, I'm the king of the eye roll. That's I why can't you help stay it. in trouble, my I know, friend. I know. Okay, nicely talk to the people. I want to be nice. I know, and say I you're sorry nice. sometimes. Well, I do say I'm sorry all the time. Do you really? I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, do I mean it? I don't know. Oh my God, Jeff! I want to mean <laughs> right, it. Gotcha. I'm dying to mean gotcha. it. And by the don't... way, with all this talk about you know insecurities, I'm going to start a GoFundMe <laughs> so, for James Retirement Fund. Fund. There you go. There man. you go. That's his pension. That's what he's relying Thank on. You. That and a really bad Kickstarter. Yes.